Yo, what's going on guys? Look at Tristan here back with the second game of what mon or what pick did this mon go in in the first round basically or whatever. Who cares about the title? It, it, there, there's no real official title, I guess. But because our last game had an exciting result, if I do say so myself, uh, we're back with round two of uh, Kuna draft or basically uh, what pick went what uh where in round one and we have our two uh former or our two prior challengers i should say in uh ace trainer josh hey guys it's me pokemon driver hd <laughs> uh yes and then uh, of course pokemon driver hd himself jared yeah that's not an exciting result when it's a tie i i disagree with that completely because <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm just gonna win this one and then i will get a new uh opponent right because josh can't handle it <laughs> probably yeah so well yeah so you got on uh on my screen you guys are able to see uh who, what pick went where uh who chose what and because of a uh person who doesn't know how to uh not ruin shit i'd say uh we and uh we ended up uh having three mons spoiled and where those went uh to be fair i actually completely forgot all of them so <laughs> i'm still spoiler free uh i mean i even i italicized them on when I sent the list to you, so. Oh, I only know. Oh, spoiler, he one. put it in the right. No, he put it in the order where they go. Yeah, I also did that. As well. So it's it's literally. It, he when The Pokemon list that's supposed to, like, randomized otherwise. Yeah, he still put the three Mons in the proper place where they would go. Yes. Like, or where they ended up going for us. Oh, so so and, even with you not remembering, you'll, you can see where it is. Yeah. So. <sighs> I, I, don't, I won't lie to you, Chief. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but like the number two pick, that was actually gonna be my guess, straight up. Okay. <laughs> like, but yeah. Oh. So basically, uh, I, I'm just gonna fill those in myself right now. Uh, do you guys have anything to say about uh, the number two pick being Zygarde? What are your thoughts on it? Um. So, Aster, I, Aster used it in the GPC. So I was going to just pick him because he used it before pretty well, I'd say. Like, way back in early Gen 7. So I was going to pick Astro Freeze and Zygarde again. I was, that that going to be my explanation. But, yeah. And then what about you, Jared? Do you have anything to say about uh, number two pick for uh, Zygarde? It's a great one. Great number two pick. I, I but I did I actually did see what like the team ended up being and uh, it's an interesting way to build around Zygarde. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> semi stall, nice and semi stall with it. But okay. sure, I I'm, I'm sure it will go somewhere. Uh, and then just gonna move on here. The second mod that was known on the list was Mega Diancy going to Veno on pick thirteen. Any thoughts? I mean, I explained that um, like Diancy is a good round one pick, but it's also very easy for it to be slept on. But obviously, Vino wanted to build around Mega Diancy, so he picked the first, and I can respect it. Like, like it's a good thirteenth pick. I can't say this. One. Yeah. And what about you, Jared? It, it's super great when it's your only rocker, Vino, right? <laughs> of course, of course. And then, lastly, what is known is Mega Mawile went to J at number 50. Any thoughts on that one? Why did it go number 15? Hello? The only, yeah. thing, that, the only thing that should be 15 is the Burger King foot list, not Mega Dancy. Like, <laughs> what? That's just, like, insane. Like, they're telling me 14 other people were looking at Mega Mawile and were like, hell no, dude, I'm not going to pick that shit. But it's like the best Pokemon in draft, in my opinion, just because of like the amount of prep it takes that people will build. They're going to draft fire types and make them max defense just so they can have a resist to both stabs. Like, that's pretty insane. 
personally. So to me, it's like, why not pick it? So the fact that it went through 1,400 people, yeah, it just blows my mind. What about you, Jared? Yeah, like uh, the same thought process there. It's like, I like, I can understand, like, if, if you haven't used it before, or if you have used it before, maybe you don't want to use it again. Like, if, if, that, if that's the reasoning that you didn't pick it, that's fine. But I find it hard to believe that 14 people already used it and were like, nah, I don't feel like using it again. <laughs> So I definitely like never would have imagined like if we didn't have that spoiler, I never would have put it anywhere near. 15. I would I would have put it at number one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, pro- probably me too. Like I probably would have just put it at number one. Be like, yo, easy first pick for a lot of people. You know. And uh, speaking of number one, how about we move on to the rest of the list that you guys do not actually know, and. Number one on the list right now is Mega Gallade. So, Jarrett, would you like to start this one off if you say you're going to win and be so confident? ABP only uses Mega Gallade. That's literally... I, I've seen him participate in multiple leagues now. I've literally never seen him use any other Mega. So, And, and also, it, it's consistent how, how, how... The people that have been around Hive for a while all have a hard-on for <coughs> Mega Gallade. And so... It's it's number three pick. It, it has to be like <laughs> I, I refuse to believe that that ABP wouldn't just like drop the league if he didn't get Mega Gallade. So there you go. It's it, it's number three pick. What about you, Josh? So unless greetings, greetings, anyway. Also, the only way it wouldn't be three is if one of those two dudes picked it. And we know one obviously didn't pick it. And I refuse to believe Mega Galay would ever go number one, ever. So I'm going to believe it went number three with ABP because he only knows how to use one Mega. And it's that thing. Oh. So. A Viking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah. same thing as Jared. Same reasoning. Yeah, I know. Uh, looking at the list, I, I definitely would say that. Uh... AVP is the only logical person, unless it went before ABP. <laughs> you know, I think, yeah, exactly. I think that's legitimately the only thing, and I I don't know if someone would pick uh, maybe laid uh, pick one. You know, they would only do it just to spite. Yeah, I think so. ABP, <laughs> but yeah. So moving on now yeah. to uh, the third thing on our list is Tapu Coco. Where did Coco go? Uh, Josh, let's start with you. So, I refuse to believe it's number one, but people also like to pick a number one. So, I'll hop on the bandwagon and say it went number one with, um, okay. was this D- Destin? Yeah, Destin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say that, yeah, he picked the number one because looking at the other Pokemon, I don't think any of those would go before Coco. Because, um, well, I mean, I guess Celestila, but I can believe it went after. So, yeah, I'm going to say that, um, yeah, Coco went first. Because people have a hard on for being <laughs> the best Tapu in the game, obviously, but also just the best Pokemon in format, which it's good, but it's not worth number one pick. That's yeah. my opinion. So, yeah. What Numero you, uno, por favor. Tapu Lele is actually the best Tapu, but since the only way you can use it is restricted, then yes, yeah, sure, Coco. I forgot that existed, but yeah, sure. <laughs> but I, you know, it was number one in the last one, which I you know, predicted correctly. However, I'm, I think that in Kakuna, that Tapu Koko actually goes number four because we already know two and three. So, so, and, and, and I'm going to say that it didn't actually go first. And this is just a hunch because I, to be honest, I don't really know Destin. So I don't have the confidence to be like, oh yeah, that the number one pick was this or that. But I feel like this time around, Coco went just a slightly later, though. But, like, someone early always wants Coco. So it, it can't slip too far. So four is, is the farthest I'm willing to say it fell down. All right. Uh, moving on here. Uh, Celestila. Where did Celestila fall, Jared? And, and the reason that I wanted to put Coco at four is because I wanted to actually put Celestila at number one this time around. Okay. 
for me, like if it's, I think it's probably one of the best Pokemon in the game. Even though it, like it, I don't feel like I ever see it go number one, which to me is a function of, like I said time and time again in the other video of just the def like Pokemon that are perceived as defensive don't go as early purely because of the defensive orientation that is perceived. However, Celesteela can be really good offensively too. And due to that versatility, I think it's worth the number one overall. I think in Kakuna, that is the way it went that with Celesteela at number one. Alrighty. What about you, Josh? Um, I mean, uh, Jared put Coco at four, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, I have the same reasoning of Celesteela being like the best Pokemon in the format because of what it can do. It's a great team mover, great defensive Pokemon. It's also like just a good typing, it's immune to like, what, ground? And it's just, it resists a lot, it's immune to ground, which is very just valuable in general. It's not weak to rocks being a flying type. So that's also pretty cool. So yeah, I think Celesteela would go early, but knowing that Zagre went two, Coco went one, because I'm gonna I'm gonna say Coco went one, and considering Mega Gallade went three, I'm gonna say Celesteela was number four because Sky, I think he's competent, so he was probably like, hey, this thing is pretty good. I don't make them all was on the board, as well, but let me pick Celesteela over it anyways. So he picked Celesteela, therefore it's number four. All right. All right, and I like these reasonings I'm getting. Uh, so moving on, Kieran Black. Where did Kieran Black fall, Josh? Where did it fall? Okay, is, I, I mentioned that Kieran Black is very hard to predict. I mean, you general. guys had it at 16 last time. And that, yeah, that, and it ended up being <laughs> top five. Yeah, that didn't do so well. So, I mean, I'm going to stick with my previous reasoning. And for those who didn't watch the previous video... I just feel that there's a lot of better Pokemon than Kieran Black in Generation 7. Like, it's great, but it's not the brain-dead Pokemon everybody perceives it to be. It takes a bit of skill to actually get kills of it properly. So, I'm just going to say that um, it, people were competent in this one, because it is a little above Weedle. This is okay. Kakuna, so I'm going to believe, hey, these guys are a bit smarter, you know, hold back on Kieran Black, but if it's available and you're, let's say, number, like, 13, like Vino, even though he picked Diancy, I'm just going to pick him as an example. That Kieran Black is an okay mon because it's near wheel, so you can draft a somewhat decent core around it immediately. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Well, actually, that probably wasn't the right way to say that term, but I'm gonna give it. The th I'm gonna put the idea that it lasted a little late. I'm gonna put it at number four. That Furfu actually drafted number it. fourteen says. All right, what about you, Jared? I, you know, I like. I agree with Josh, and that while it did surprise us that it went what like top five, it was, it was the fifth pick. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't think it went in that fifth pick since we both already picked our one through fours, and I'm really tempted to say sixteen again. <laughs> I, the only issue with that is that of all the people in uh, Kakuna. I've seen Tom the most battling, and I I really don't know, I don't remember ever seeing him use a Kieran Black. And that that both gives me a, like, well, he probably hasn't used it a whole lot. Like, I'm sure he's used it before, because he's played plenty, and I, maybe I just didn't see it. But I don't. then that means I don't know if he actually likes it or not. However, he's a smart man, and I think that if it was still on the board at 16, he gets it at 16. So I'm giving it to Tom at 16. All right, then. Back to back, Kieran Blacks at 16, I see. Uh, moving on now, uh, we got another dragon. We have uh, Garchomp. So, Jared, where do you think Garchomp landed? Well, thankfully, it's not in front of Zygarde this time. But... <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, well, I, I'm assuming that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> but... It could, mean, it could have gone number one. It could have gone number one. Made some assumptions last time too that weren't weren't as accurate as I thought. But since I'm I'm gonna say that Garchomp definitely didn't go top five. I I want to say 
that it it just missed out on top 10 and actually put it at 11 because 11. I think it's, it's still a really good mod like don't get me wrong it's it's solid like it's I think like the utility of stealth rock and it's you know bulk make it just an amazing mon to be able to do so many different things and you know if it had dragon dance it'd probably be even more busted but swords dance works pretty well so i think it's still a really good mon it's you know not the most prominent of dragons but it's still a very solid dragon that also gives you a nice ground type which a lot of people do try to focus on since electric types can get annoying if they can just volt switch all over your team so i'm comfortable at 11. all right what about you josh I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking at the list of Pokemon, and it's very, very hard to predict what was picked after number four. Because any of these mods can go anywhere, basically. So, uh, in terms of Garchomp, just looking at what was picked, like, I think Pokemon like Megalopony, even Landers and Torn were probably picked before it. So, I'm gonna put out a comfortable nine. It was number nine for Garchomp. All right. So you have hope that your good pal Papa Max, Max shows Papa Garchomp. Maxorus, yeah. I'm gonna hope and pray, man. <laughs> hope and pray. <laughs> That's the only thing you can do in these situations. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the next one, we have Megalopony. So Josh, where did it go? Uh, again, back to the thing where, like, Megalopony is obviously really, really good. Almost amazingly good, just people don't talk about it anymore. Because, yeah, it's sparked at the same tree for the past, like, four years. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, Megalopnik could easily go top six, but I don't know if it did. <laughs> so, I got to just predict about looking at, like, predict looking at the Mons. And just looking at what was picked, I am going to say that it went number six. I would, say, I would pick number six on this one. Number six. Because I... I do believe that something was picked before, and I think we've already announced the top four. Yes. So I'm going to give it six. What about you, Jarrett? What do you say? I honestly, my first inclination is also number six uh -huh. with Mega Blow Bunny. Not necessarily because of Aaron, although I, I've i I've known Aaron. At least, I knew Aaron actually more like a dude, long, long time ago, like Oras times, like... And then I have at least seen some of his videos, but I'm not super familiar with what he's what he likes and what he doesn't like. And for the most part, the rest of the list, I'm not super familiar with what they like and don't like. But it does feel like if we're you know for assuming the top four that we both have we both have you know, at least the same four mons in the top four, and we're assuming those went there, then I can see Mega Low Punny being. A, you know something that you take a look at at number like five but maybe passing on and then number six pulling the trigger even though you know mega mawa was there but again we have to ignore that and have our suspension of disbelief uh or suspension of belief whatever i don't remember how to use that but who cares it's I, I'm, I'm going six because i think it'd be pretty solid value for it but uh it's like because you you wouldn't really want to leave it any longer because it, it's it, it, by that point you feel like it's it's coming off the board soon so I, yeah i'll go six all right uh next one on the list we have uh mew where did mew go jared okay mew was like the hardest one for la the last time because i was convinced it went like top five and i if i or at least for a while, and then I, I kept flip flopping. At least I don't even remember where I ended up putting it, but I know it wasn't where wherever I put it, and it was definitely <laughs> lower. So with that in mind, maybe I think higher of Mew than most people do. I'm not sure, but with that in mind, I would say that like the back end of top ten is a solid place for it. However, Max. One time I've seen him have Mew on his team, or I mean, I think he what, he drafted it and immediately traded it. So, 
I don't think Max took it at nine. Yeah. And with that, I'm willing to then go down to ten with TDG drafting Mew because it, man, it's just, it's like whenever it stays on the board, you just like someone's like someone's just gonna be like. Well, I mean, it it can, it can do so many different things. I I gotta take a chance on it. So I think ten is a solid place to take Mew. Alrighty, what about you, Josh? Where did Mew go? I'm having a very hard time trying to, uh, thinking about how to line up these Pokemon. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna get the same reasoning that yeah, Mew like isn't really picked early, but once it, after like eight or nine picks, people are like, hey, it's there. Like, it's like the Mega Mawile treatment. It's not the same Pokemon at all. Uh -huh. And Mega Mawile should easily go top three. As in Mew, well, and Mew shouldn't, obviously. It's not fine. So, I already picked Amon for Max, and I, I wouldn't, I also, and yeah, Max did trade it immediately to, um, to Zach, or did Zach trade to Mew? No, yeah, it was, yeah, they it traded with Zach. Yeah, oh like, yeah. He, yeah, he, he, I, 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 I remember the nickname now. Yeah, it was like pretty whammon. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sorry, man, this is really tough, but uh, I'm gonna pick the number 11 spot to hail. And he picked me in. Right. Number 11 it is. Any particular reason, or do you just think that it wasn't uh, picked 7, 8, or 9, or 5? Or later. I just don't. I, I just don't think it was five, and I don't think it. And I have an idea for seven. Uh -huh. And so. All right. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, next mon in this list, we got Pornatus T. So, what do you think, Josh? See, I think this is a mon that very easily might have been picked earlier. Because uh -huh. I've seen it before for one, and I also don't disagree with it. Like, I won't lie. It's. It's one of the better flying types in like just the game in general. Like Regenerator, Hurricane, and Knockoff, and U-Turn, and Taunts. Yeah, it's like amazing. It can literally wall break and stall break all at the same time. Plus, like fly, um, Z um, horns good. I, I'm I'm giving like my explanation on it because it wasn't actually a first rounder in the last video, so I want to give my reasoning for it being good. But um, yeah. With that in mind, I actually do. I, I'm, I'm gonna. It might be a wild card move. I don't know what Jared's gonna say, but I think it did go top ten. I am gonna give it that doubt, or I'm gonna give it that benefit of the doubt, I should say. And I'm gonna put it at number eight. I'm gonna take Specs took it. All right. What about you, Jared? What say you? So, Tornadus. Definitely, I, th I think it was obvious. Wherever it went in, Weedle is definitely a steal because I, I do agree that it's a solid first round pick and I, I could see someone taking it at eight but I, that's not where i'm going to put it for this this time around but it is obviously you know regenerator makes it basically not we you know amazing like it's i mean it takes you know sl slightly damage to it still but not like full basically just because you you every time switching out and then it's a defogger that can defog pretty easily on so many things because of the just pure flying typing it's not four times weak to anything like a lot of flying types can be or it also just doesn't have a ton of weaknesses due to that uh soul typing so i think that yeah the only drawback to it is missing hurricanes really but you're if you're picking it round one you're probably making your zemon so that just gives it so much more value and Hurricane's just such a hard-hitting move and hard to switch into along with its other coverage, so solid mon, solid mon. And while it's earlier than 14, I'm actually going to put it there with Furfru because I can see it falling many times because of people being worried about hitting Hurricanes because people don't want to run Air Slash. Like, Hurricane versus Air Slash power difference is huge. And so I can see people being a little worried about it. But then when you're getting towards that end of the first round, you're definitely like, hey, this is it's still a really good mod. You know, I'll have to rip those hurricanes because it's still a great mod. Like it's it's too good to pass up at that point. So I'm comfortable. At 14, you said? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, next mod, a mod 
that we had in the last round as well. Uh, Mega Charizard X. So, Jarrett, where did Mega Charizard X go? Okay, so with with the knowledge, since I was in Hive last season and since I did Honey Whoring, I did know at least what was drafted, partly, like whatever I remember. But one draft I did remember, de at least decently, was Shiny Spams from last season. He wasn't in my same division, but it was one of my favorite drafts in, in Weedle of last season. And he did have a Mega so that kind of makes me not want to put it at 12. Not, I have no idea if he did any good with it or not, to be honest. But I want to say he didn't pick it again in Hive. And that's reason enough for me to dissuade myself from picking it at 12. However, I think instead then that it went at number... Oh, I don't want to give it to Max. I, I was about to... But I... I don't, I don't, I don't see Max as someone who wants to use Charizard X, to be honest. So, you know what? I'm convincing myself as I go that it's gonna go to Reese at number seven, and I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I probably Rise. If I don't, I don't know. Rise Reese, whatever. It, no, it's gotta be. I, it's if it's if it's felt like that, it's it's Reese to me. So I'm <laughs> I'm calling him Reese. Yeah, I think fair. it went at seven. That that doesn't sound too confident though, Jared. You know. Well, because I don't know where else to put it, to be honest, at this point. Like, I th like I, I just, Charizard X is a mon that I think a lot of people value very differently. And so, it's, it's unless you really know the whole, you know, lot of them, it's hard to really say. And I only know, you know, a few of them decently well and even then i wouldn't tell, be able to really tell you who you know what their first round pick is like that because they could just mix it up with different drafts so i'm willing to say seven because it's still it's still a really good one and it's personally one of my favorites but uh people aren't gonna draft it as high as i usually do if i if i do even draft it so i think number seven seems solid like middle of the round it's you know a mon that just fire and dragon is just a great typing so you can build around that pretty I would say pretty easily just making sure that you either get it in before rocks or have your hazard removal be solid but yeah i, I think number seven seems like a, a cool place to take it uh, all right and uh, what about you josh what about you um i'm on the same boat personally that it's just a very hard mod to predict where it goes because so many people see it very differently so i mean because have i given it a 15 yet well, I'm not gonna put it there. I'm just like yeah, it's a yeah, general well, question. Small while is 15. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. So, I do sort of know Tom, and I don't think he would draft Star X. I, I just don't think so. I, I was actually gonna give it to Shiny Spam, but with the information of him having <laughs> it before, I'm not gonna do so anymore. Uh, but it's it's tough because I think I only have what I have ten. I have seven. You have five, seven, ten, twelve, and sixteen. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna give it to twelve. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it to. Um, hmm. I'm actually. I haven't used ten, right? No, you have not. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna give it the ten spot because I have an idea about what seven might be. And plus, I want to have some variations. So I can actually have a chance to win this time. This time around, because if I pick too many of the same, I'm just gonna cancel out. So I'm going to pick the 10 spot, uh, but I mean, similar reasoning, like Zard's good, but there's mods that can be seen as better to some yeah. people. I, I'm not going to say it's there's nine mods better than Zard X, but there could be nine mods better than Zard X. The only problem is that some actually went after Zard X, so that's, it creates an awkward situation, you know, but uh -huh. nonetheless, I'm going to feel Zard X at number 10. Um, and I, with the same reasoning as Garrett, except I'm just not going to pick seven. <laughs> All right. Well, next mom here now is Thunderous Incarnate. Uh, Josh, where do you think Thunderous Incarnate went? I'm surprised Thunderous Incarnate was taken at all round one. I don't think it's worth round one at all, personally. Like, it's fast. It's an electric type. It's Prankster. Good Z, good Z user. Prankster Nasty Plot. Cool. But it's like... It's not underwhelming. It's just not... It's an underwhelming round one pick. 
just to me personally. So it, def- it was definitely later on in the round. I just do not see it going before 10. I just, I do not. I- I'd be very surprised if it ever did. And, and considering I have a 12 and a 16 available, I'm going to put it at the 12 spot because I have an idea of what Tom might have taken. So I'm going to give it to um, Shy Spam. I'm going to say that he picked the Thunders. Right. What about you, Jared? Same. Like, <laughs> that's that's like exactly my thinking is like, it, it, pro- it couldn't have gone top 10, but then again, no one picked Mega Bot Wild until 15. So who knows what they're thinking, but... Like I don't, and also like I know I I gave a mon to Tom already, so I I wouldn't pick Tom. But like even if I hadn't given him that mon and I was thinking of a different one, like I would I don't see Tom using Thunderous as the 16th pick, and thus kind of p- putting it into the 12th spot by default more so than feeling confident because I I, I do agree honestly that it's probably not a first round pick in most cases. Although I think it's a, you know, it's still a solid mod. Like, it's obviously the prankster nerf in Gen 7 to Dark Types. Is a, it can be annoying, but I mean, that's still not super situational. And then the thing that hurts it more is the accurate Thunder Wave, which still, you know, hits 9 out of 10 times. So I think it's still a solid mod. And it's just, like, the prankster Thunder Wave is always a huge threat. So, I I can see someone wanting to take it late first round to prevent it from getting maybe taken on the the second round early. Because, say, at number 12, you might be scared of 13 through 16 being able to take it on their second pick. That I I think 12 is a, is a spot where I could see it going. All right, and 12 is where I have it for you guys. Um, next one out there, Lando T. So, Jarrett, would you like to say that where Lando T went? It it went number five because, uh, it's still a you know, good mod. It's it 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 has potential to go later because of people using it and you know seeing it everywhere. But it's still a really good mod, and based off of everything else picked, I feel like it didn't fall too far. So, I think it's it's still it can it can be very worthy of a top, and so I think at number five is definitely a time where someone could say, "Oh, hey, Lando T is still on the board. Let uh-huh. me grab that." Hey, so I like that reason. What about you, Josh? What do you say? Basically, the same exact thing as Jarrett, and yeah, I think it went number five. I don't think it went over the early portions of the draft, but. Yeah, it's one of those mods where it's like, oh, I see Zygarde, I see Coco, I see Steela being taken. Uh, I think like Lando T is in that same tier of good or even great. So, yeah, I'm going to pick it as number five. Like, that's what I'm thinking the person was thinking, Andrew, in this case. So, I'm going to put Lando C as number five. And I don't need to go into why it's good. Yeah. But if it did last into the late rounds, I'm going to say Oras Fatigue. The yeah. same term that Jarrett used earlier in the last video. That's the only reason why it would go on later on. That's All my right. um, now, review. Now, heading into the home stretch with two mods left, Jirachi. Where did Jirachi go? Hey, what do you say, okay. Josh? So, going back to um, um, Reese or Rice, I think he was the one that actually picked Jirachi. Because I'm thinking that if you're going to pick Jirachi, it's going to be early because you want to build around specifically. And I think seven, even considering the mods that were taken beforehand, if my picks are correct, I think Jirachi makes a lot of sense as you're just, you're very good steel type, your rocker, your utility user, your potential scarfer, your calm mind sweep user, even a Z user. I think like with all that in mind and the person wanting to use it, because keep in mind, Jirachi wasn't taken round one in uh, Weedle. So I think in this case, Ryze wanted to pick Jirachi to ensure nobody else could get it. And since he is pretty close to the middle, the chance of it maybe lasting to round two might be slim. It just depends on the mindset of everybody from eight to 16. So I think Ryze is the one that picked it up. And that's my idea for it. All right. What about you, Jer? So I, I think that is that correct mindset for Jirachi. Well, it's 
it's definitely a I, I think it's a really good mon like I've used it in a while actually but like when I used it last I always I seem to always bring calm mind like it's just like it's the bulk the you know natural bulk of being the you know base 600 pixies is really nice so since calm mind is it's best, best set up with obviously the Z celebrate or happy hour whichever one it gets being not allowed uh it's so easy to bring that, but then also it's so easy to just bring a scarf, and then it has the support in Wish, Healing Wish, Stealth Rock. So, you know, it has so many good options and has the ridiculous coverage. Like, it even gets Draco Meteor, which I don't know if I've ever seen anyone bring it. And I feel like there's no reason to, because it gets Moon yeah, Blast. But... There's literally no reason to bring it. <laughs> but, like, it, it gets all those, like, special moves for, like, you know, I don't know why a Steel Fairy would be getting... Draco or Moonblast usually, but it gets, you know, even those ridiculous moves. So it is a solid mon. I it, it can be a first round pick. It also I could see it not being a first round pick many times, so I'm not I'm kind of on the fence about it, but since my the, the two spots that I have available right now are eight and nine, and I think that the the logic behind picking it in the eight nine area is like Josh said, and it's probably not going to get to you second round. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to... Okay, I'm, I'm still deciding. Um, filibustering. Because I've seen Max use Weavile, or pick Weavile, I think. And so that throws me for a loop. But I'm going to say that Jirachi went number eight to Specs. Alrighty. And now, uh, one one left, going in very different spots between you two, and that is Weavile. So, Jarrett, you have Weavile going number nine. Well, what, what's up with that? Okay, I don't think it's worth the number nine pick, to be honest. But, like I said earlier, just now, um, Max, I've seen him, I feel like I've seen him pick it multiple times. And that gives me enough confidence to kind of go on a go on a limb here and say that he picked it maybe earlier than expected because he likes it or you know he's really good with it so and very comfortable so you know if if he did indeed pick it i'm sure like it's it he has the confidence to use it well and make it worthwhile for that first round pick it goes back to that mindset of when you're in the middle you have to be very concerned about what's going to be available in the second round so i think that with that in mind, Weavile can very easily be an early second round pick. And so I can see Max wanting to take it since, I mean, it is super fast. It's got Pursuit, it's got Ice Shard. Like, the Ice and Dark coverage by itself is amazing. So it's very nice there. It's got, I feel like it gets counter, which is a nice tech. And then. I think it does get counter. Yeah, and it gets like I I know it has what metal claw or steel, steel wing or something because everyone it's brings metal that, claw you know, yeah. Mega before Diancy yeah yeah like that's always and it gets poison jab so I mean like it gets the it gets coverage it honestly needs like for the certain matchups and you can make it you know live at least one hit to swords dance like it does have like decent enough stats like as long as you're not taking a hit like a super effective move you can generally live a hit and swords dance if you want but it's also super easy to make a bandit so. It's still a solid mon. I don't really like it in the first round personally, but if you're good with it, I can, you know, I can see being willing to do that. And so I'm going out on a limb and saying Max is very good and comfortable with it, thus picking at number nine. Alrighty, what about you, Josh? It's it fell all the way to the number sixteen spot to Tom. What's up with that? So Vino said that he had a very jank squad. And in my opinion, <laughs> Vivo round one is a very jank pick. So I was like, well, I guess it makes a lot of sense for it to be Tom. Plus, I can see if you want to draft like a Mega Lottie plus Weavile, and you like get rid of your threats and with the wheel. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. So I just had a number 16 for that reason. Alrighty. Well, we are gone, or we are done with all 16 Mons, especially since we knew three of them from the beginning. Uh, at this point, I will ask you guys, do you feel confident with your list, or would you like to make changes at all? I don't feel confident, but I'll, I'll keep 
with my my choices. Jarrett, is there any changes that you would like? Oh, obviously I nailed it, so no need to change it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's two confident people. Uh, just a reminder how the points go. If you get it right on the spot, you get two points, and if you're one off either direction, you get one point for it. So, I guess might as well start at the number one spot. And in the number one spot, Destin, uh, for Kakuna, took Tapu Koko number one. Damn it. Dude, these people are dumb. Why are you <laughs> taking the round one? <laughs> Man, uh... Tapu Koko was round one. Uh, or pick one. Uh, because of that, Josh gets the two points, and because Jared is, uh, not close Real with... Quattro. Yeah, mm -hmm. not close with Tapu Koko. He does not get points. Uh, moving to Astro J. Uh, he, yes, we did know that he did choose Zygarde for pick two, so two free points to both of them. Uh, pick number three, AVP. You guys sounded very, very confident that he chose Mega Glade. Is that correct? Yes. Most confident. Better be, right better be correct, dude. Pick of my life. Well, AVP ended up choosing Celestila. What? Bro! Oh, Wait, he's never what? used anything else in his life. There's no way. So, no because way. he chose Celestila. No Wait, no, this is, this is a prank, right? <laughs> no, it's not a prank. He chose Celestila pick three. Yo, what? So he, no, he doesn't, know, he doesn't know how to use any other megas, and he knows yeah. to take it first what round. What did he what? take? He did took he like Mega Altaria, by the way. Wait, like, what? How is he going to play without Mega Glade? I don't know, dude. I, I mean, it. they're kind of the same. But still. All right, but yeah, so he chose Celestila. Uh, with how this pick, these picked work, uh, Josh, you got one point for having Celestila at number four, and Jert, uh, you don't get anything. Saddle, right? <laughs> yeah, this is looking like an L because AVP and ruined it. No, it depends. It. We have, we have very um dispersed um, yeah. middle <laughs> picks. So, so right so. now, how things have lined up, uh. Josh, you have five points, and Jarrett has two. Uh, the number four pick, which both of you know was not correct at this point, but the number four pick was Mega Gallade. So, uh, at least I so get a point. Get a point yeah. Both of yeah, you get a point, so the score is six to three. Josh is ahead right now. Uh, what are we at? Number five now? Yeah, yeah five. we both Number picked five. Lando. So. Both of you picked Lando. However, the actual pick was Megalopony. Oh, okay. It's fine. I get a point on that one. Yeah, so both of you get a point. The yeah, score we, we is picked. seven to four. Wait, you put well, Aaron yeah. too? Are you kidding me? Come on, yeah. man. The score is yeah. seven to four, Josh, right now. <laughs> and Aaron, pick number six, actually chose... Garchomp. What? Fuck, where did I put that at? Oh man, I think I put it at 9. Yeah, yeah you put, you put nine. it at 9. <laughs> Jared did 11. No points awarded there. Bro, I think you might have picked I think he actually did. Oh no. Dude, yes, yes, yes. That's gonna, get, that's gonna help so much. I need <laughs> that now. Yeah. I'm so uh, screwed. Number 7, Reese. Uh, you picked Lando T. Lando T. Yeah, because it's still on the board. That makes sense. But yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's still no fair. points okay. given out at that point. Um, the score is still seven to four. Uh, going on to pick eight with Specs King, who did choose Tornado Therian. Oh, did I nail it on the head? Nail oh, it on the head. So the score oh, yeah, is yeah. nine yeah. to four. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. Let's go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's go, going dude. on to Papa Max, our boy. All right, so this is like an automatic zero for me. Was it yeah. Weavile? Oh, no, was it, it Weavile? was not Weavile. It was not Weavile. Yeah, there was, I, 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 I now believe that all mine are wrong the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Kieran Black. Crap. I go okay, get that. I had a feeling he might have just because he got to use it at the end of last IPA season, but I was like. Nah, oh, he, he got right. to use it, but yeah, I guess Jared he liked got it a lot. Up with that, uh, yeah, I, I'm. 16. Yeah, I. You know, I. I honestly, Ooh, oh, yeah. at nine, 
I, I'm okay with it at nine, but yeah, man, I'm I'm so sort of okay with right it at now, nine. I can the score is that's... nine to four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. Uh, moving on to number ten, TDG. Who did choose mute? Oh, oh whoa, I so... nailed it. So. <laughs> Two points for Jer, one point for Josh on that one because oh, I gave it to Hale. Yeah, Mew was <laughs> one point down. Uh, so the score is eleven to six. No, ten to six rather. Ten to six. Uh, then moving on to Hale, rather, who did choose Mega Charizard X? So oh, where did I put that up? You put it at ten. Oh. Josh, so you get another. Oh, I'll point. take. Oh, I get. I get the. Oh, I, I swap my ten and eleven. Oh, I'll take him. So it is eleven to six, Josh, right now, and then we move on to number twelve, a shiny, who chose, we or not Weavile. Yeah, yeah, no, he chose Weavile, not Thunderous. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of I felt like it wasn't gonna be like at the end. I felt like it was gonna be someone who likes it, thus yeah. picking it earlier. So I just I just went on a list. Fuck, it's probably Furfro. Shit, I'm thinking about it now. My right, so the score is eleven to six still. Moving on to Venno, we both uh, everyone knows who uh, what he chose. He chose Mega Diancy. So mm -hmm. two points added on thirteen to eight. Uh, moving on to Furfro, number fourteen. He chose. Rachi. Okay. So you guys aren't okay. uh, you guys aren't really close with these. Uh, I mean, mine, yeah, all mine the rest yeah. of the way. It doesn't matter. I can't get any more points. So we, yeah. Like moving on to Mawile or J15 yeah. with Mega <laughs> Mawile. Both you guys are do this. So <laughs> the score is 15 man. to 10. So Tom took Thunderous. And Tom took Thunderous at number 16. Uh, okay. To be fair, I was right about the Jank ass pick. I was right about that one. It just happened <laughs> to be Thunderous, not we will. Okay, and sure. So, final score Josh 15, Jarrett 10. Uh, do you guys have any uh, remarks about this list of what? Yo, wait, Jarrett, how does it feel like to be thrumped? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You know, you know what got me off kilter here was ABP not picking Mega Galate. <laughs> that threw me off. I like, think, I, I how think am I supposed to get anything else is, right? Because uh... that ruins the whole order. Jared, I think you're just didn't follow your gut enough because I feel like you said Tapu Koko could have been one, but you didn't think so. And then well, I picked it on on number one in the last one, and yeah, then I, I revealed to I it felt like I revealed to Josh. It's a re, like a lot of people are willing to take it number one, yeah. Even though like in Josh's mind, it shouldn't be taken number one. Uh -huh. And so then after that, he's like, okay, now he's receptive to that. And then so then I was like, you know what? With this one, maybe they didn't do it the same. Because a lot of times in the Hive, it's the drafts actually look decently different, like in the first round. Like, it might be the same Mons, but usually it's in a different order. Like, it seems to be, like, never super consistent. And so, I mean, it, it is still, you know, different order, three. even with, yeah. these, with these Mons. But, like, I felt like it would be a little, you know, slightly more varied and than it really, I guess. And so, maybe that, trying to be bold and yeah. say Celestila went first instead. Uh -huh. But... No. Nah. Oh yeah. No, I was like, what, still you, going strong. I recall like a couple of them where you're like, I feel like it should be here, but I'm convincing myself it's not there. <laughs> and I feel like there's a couple like uh, I think it was Mega Charizard X, Celesteela, Tapu Koko. Uh, what else was it? Uh, Kieran Black and Tornadus. Where like you're like it can be up here, but it I don't think they are. And so you kind of pulled yourself away from uh, probably a good amount of points, to be honest. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, what about you, Josh? Do you have any remarks on uh, the actual list? Um, just besides the fact that Mega Mawa was taken that late, not really. Most of the picks <laughs> are pretty balanced for the most part. Yeah. Like Mega Galade in top five and five is absolutely no um no question. So it's like I can't even question that pick. So, yeah, no, everything makes sense. I can't really disagree. Yeah, no, and the thing was, like, we were talking about this last night, and you guys were very confident about AVP getting Mega Gallade. So, <laughs> I, with the with the knowledge I had, uh, I was able to hold it in for, like, an entire day 
that you guys were going to be completely wrong about it. <laughs> and, and <you laughs> to, guys to be were, honest, I, I, I am surprised you were about you... it too, which was pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, I am surprised you kept it together. I thought you would have like started just like bursting out laughing because of yeah, because you're right. We we literally were just like, you know, oh, we already know four picks because even though like only three technically were you know for sure revealed, uh -huh. I I kept saying for sure, and I think Josh was echoing it too. We were like, oh yeah, we already know four picks. Like we we it's it's gonna be easier to pick this order, and clearly that was not the case for me at least. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, now if. Uh... And that's it for you guys. Uh, off the tie for Weedle, we do have a winner in Kakuna, and that is Josh here. Uh, so congratulations to Josh. Uh, thank you guys for coming back for the round two to break that tie. Uh, who knows what happens now. Uh, I, I want to do something with Beedrill, but it depends on everyone's schedules to see what we'll do. Uh, if Josh is available for Beedrill, I'll try to get him back and possibly uh, a new person to participate. So uh, a new contender, if I do say so myself. Or if Josh is not available, then I might pull Jarrett and a new contender. And so the winner would end up facing Josh in the uh, Mega Beedrill, unless it's a tie. Then it would be like a three-way for the Mega Beedrill. But who knows? <laughs> Yeah, no, who knows? Uh, you guys will probably see it. What uh, You'll know when I know because I, once I'm done recording these, I just upload them. So I'll know like an hour before you probably. But nonetheless, uh, thank you both for joining me to, for this. Uh, I thought this was pretty exciting. I, I think it's really interesting to, for me to see what you guys think and how you guys justify it. And then just to see that it's completely wrong and you like there's no reason for you to be wrong <laughs> and i think it's pretty cool uh and i think you guys give really uh neat insights into uh these mons for sure it's like some people wouldn't see mons being as valued as other mons uh you guys know that the hive loves making a laid so you know it'd be high uh it's stuff like that that i think what really makes this for me is it just I get to get your guys' insight on it. This is something different that hasn't really been done with it, uh, with drafts, kind of, like, quote-unquote. But uh, nonetheless, I found this really fun. I'm glad that you guys were here. I I'm sure it wasn't fun for Jarrett since he lost. But, <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you guys. If you have anything left to say, go ahead. Uh, not really. Yeah. yeah. Too shook. Too, Too shook. shook. Yeah. No, no mega delayed for AVP. How how is he gonna avoid relegation? Like, come <laughs> on. He doesn't know how to use any other megas unless he's just like picking like. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, he's like, using the lowest yeah, mega, mega. So. No. Okay. Yeah. He's doomed. He's doomed. He's I can doomed. tell you right now. He's doomed. He that needs, is he, a he, quote he, the right from play would right have been there. A mega AVP that he doesn't bring. He, if he should have picked like Mega Bonnet, that would get him like max points. <laughs> I'm assuming that's in the like lowest. Yeah, yeah, like it that, should probably. be. It should be. And he just, just you just don't bring it, like, and you just use the extra points for other mods. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for joining. Uh, if you guys watched through this whole thing, uh, I uh, I salute you because first episode was an hour and 14 minutes. We're hitting uh, 54 minutes right now. So if you sat through basically two hours of I don't know what to really call this, but uh, if you sat through that, I uh, I appreciate you. Uh, leave a like, comment, whatever you feel like you want to do, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.